Hello everyone, Digfig here and welcome. In this Borderlands 3 item overview video, we are going to be going over the Blister, an alien barreled Torg assault rifle. Now, what does this actually do for this gun? Well, this gun shoots out like a pillar of whatever element you have. If you have the flamethrower one, if you have the fire one, I like to just call it this giant pillar of fire, like an awesome epic flamethrower. Not like that little Elon Musk gun. This thing is like, Brr. but it does come in all the elements. So it's kind of not appropriate for me to call it a flamethrower. It also increases the damage the longer you shoot this. Um, I have loaded these up on endless bottomless mag mows and um, you can shoot it forever, but the damage does have a hard cap. It seems to be like plus a thousand to plus two thousand um, off the base damage is the max cap here. So it's not like you're ridiculously overpowered. You can't just like one shot a boss if you walk around shooting this thing for an hour. Kind of wish you could. I was really hoping that's how it worked, which is why I tried that build out. And now for the way this gun looks. I mean, it's a Torg gun with a giant alien barrel on it. And I think these alien barrels always look really cool. I have the same thing to say about them all the time where I really love the motion of them. I love that they moved. I love that when they're in elements, you can see it flowing through the gun. I love that the eyeballs open and close like the thing's actually like a living, breathing organism. It's kind of creepy. I kind of wonder if they have like, ah, I could rant on about cool background story things you could do with these things. But either way, I think they all look really, really awesome. Now for my personal thoughts and overview on this gun. Um, you guys can see here what I mean by like a giant pillar of coming out the end of it. Um, a few downsides to this gun is one, the magazine size is quite small and two, it has a short range. Um, this is on true ball hunter mode, no mayhem modes, just to keep it flat. But it does do good damage. I've definitely had a lot harder time clearing out these mobs than with this thing. Um, I have taken it up into true Vault Hunter mode, Mayhem mode 3, and oh, uh, can it kill things? Yes, with the right modifiers, it's actually fairly good. But it's definitely not the strongest up there. Um, on like an Amara Elemental build with a phase lock, it's kind of fun because you just phase lock and walk point blank up to them and then melt their face off with dots and elemental damage. Um, it's pretty solid at that. Bottomless mag uh, mows or endless bo endless magazine mows is kind of fun with it also because you just more or less have infinite ammo. Same with a lot of the other alien guns that are laser beams. So you can just fire them forever um, and just keep up the uh, maximum damage buffs on them. I want to try and show you guys this damage buff. Like we're doing 1400 a shot on this guy. Let's try and do this. 3000 on critical hits on that guy. Now if we can get... Is it gonna be a spawn here? Nope, there's never a spawn around when you need it. I'm trying to demonstrate some damage numbers here, people. Uh, an anointed would be perfect for this. So we did 1900 raw. Wait for the end of the magazine. And you guys can see there's some 2000s in there and like 2500s. I know it's really hard to see because the thing does so much damage as it's stacking on top of each other. But it does have a hard cap. Uh, like I said, and it's another downside to it, I guess. Um, the description seems kind of it's not it's deceptive to some sense it should be like the longer you fire it just constantly keeps doing more and more damage it shouldn't have a hard cap or it should say like the hard cap i wish they had more detailed statistics like that but i mean i could just rag on about that forever in this game but you guys can definitely see that if you've watched many of my other videos that there's guns that suck a lot worse than this thing um that are actually like hard to clear this place on true vault hunter mode and like this thing is just deleting these mobs but either way, I digress. Now, short overview, I think this gun is viable for true ball under mode, mayhem mode one, mayhem two. With a little bit of min maxing and the proper build, can you get through mayhem three stuff with this gun? Yes, is it the best? No. But I do think it is viable for Mayhem 3. Um, it might be a little lackluster for the Circle of Slaughter when you get towards those higher rounds. But if you have the right modifier to go in, this thing can be an absolute monster. You just got to deal with that short range and small magazine size. And it really does shine on an Elemental Amara or a Bottomless Mag Mose. Now, if you're looking to get one of these for yourself, unfortunately, it's an open world drop, so it can drop from absolutely any source, and they're quite rare. You can also get them out of the slot machines, but that's even a rarer chance. But we were all given this Iridium Cannon that shoots out guns at 10 at a time, and it drops greens, blues, and purples. And guess what all of these are? Green, blues, and purples. So I've actually burned through like 20 to 30,000 Iridium on my alts, blowing out these guns, and I got quite a few of them. So I think it's probably the laziest and easiest way to do it, probably the most expensive as well, only for those that have a whole bunch of Iridium. But it is something I haven't seen anyone talking about, so I hope that does help. 
I really do appreciate you all stopping by. It does mean a whole lot. The support has been amazing. And if you like this video appearing above me here shortly, there should be a playlist of videos just like this one. And if you like some of those things about subscribing, liking, commenting, becoming an awesome member of the community, watching all my videos front to back to be an awesome person and help my analytics. And I will see you guys in the next video. Dig fig out! Ah. <laughs> kind of creepy it's slimy when i touch it down here i think it's 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 attaching to my hand oh shit oh shit i can't get the gun off oh god things that could go wrong when using alien weapons you know bye guys